Welcome back to Open Line tonight. I'm here with Metro Councilman DaCosta Hastings talking about Metro General Hospital. What to do with it going forward? It is a hot button issue in our city right now. And I can tell because our lines are lit up. So we are going to get right to the phone calls. Dorothy is on line one. Hi, Dorothy. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm okay. All right. Tell yeah. us what's your input tonight on this topic. Okay. Metro General Hospital, when it was over on Armitage Avenue, Vanderbilt doctors came with the Meharry doctors, mm -hmm. quote, I must say, to train. Okay. Then, when Metro General moved to the site it's at right now, it had always serviced the endangered patients in Nashville. Now, all of a sudden, it's getting so expensive that they want to put a surgical unit over there. So now, if your Mahara doctors, all of them are not surgeons, who will be manning that Metro General? Do you see where it's going? Mm -hmm. I see, Dorothy. Let's well, see if we can wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Where are your <laughs> Mahara doctors going? And where are your indigent patients going? When you are laying in the in the hallway of these other hospitals, and I didn't say it wasn't good care, did I? No. no. But there's a certain day that you must leave the hospital, don't they're going to lose money, and they're not doing that. You can leave that $120 million rail system off of Nashville and try to supplement your poor or where your poor would have a bed. Everybody can't walk in and out of a surgical unit. Everybody don't have a surgical issue. Where are your Meharry doctors going to if you close that? And they're not in private practice. Are these other hospitals going to absorb those doctors? Are those indigent patients? Well, let's talk about wake that. Wake up and smell yeah. the coffee because okay. you see it's not going right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Dorothy, thank you for calling in. Thank let's you. talk about that. I think the question is, okay, mm -hmm. where would the doctors go? What's yeah. going to happen? Well, actually, uh, the proposal is saying for inpatient, mm -hmm. the inpatient would go away. They would so we're still have surgeries, yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. yeah, the emergency room mm -hmm. uh, system because that feeds into the inpatient cluster. Uh, that is what the proposal is. Uh, Meharry had has actually just uh, did a contract to ha actually send some of their doctors now to HCA uh to uh southern hills hospital i believe uh uh that is only going to be able to give more of an outreach for the students at Meharry to where there's other hospitals that they can go to to practice uh especially when there are different needs of service at different hospitals uh I wasn't for sure what the caller was saying. Uh, there are Vanderbilt doctors are still at Metro General. Uh, uh, Meharry doctors are there as well. Uh, we have to find a way to get a, a another source of, of doctors because mm -hmm. people follow their doctors. Sure. And, and that's the way that we can increase patient care at our hospital yes. as well. Uh, I think the old uh, merger system contract has to be revisited uh, today because it's not sufficient. We're spending a lot of money and we're getting nothing out of it. Mm. In what way? Well, uh, we're we're paying forty four over forty four thousand dollars a month just in parking in a garage that Metro General that that the government uh, Nashville paid for over at Metro General Hospital, but the money doesn't go to us. Gotcha. Metro General pays monies to Meharry, Meharry Medical College to park in a parking garage for the patients and mm -hmm. also the staff to be able to park there that are tax dollars and monies that the Metro government 
actually utilized to build that parking garage. And that is only one of several things that are inside of that system that we have to work out. And we got to figure out what's going on. We need to revisit the things that went on then. Right. Not that the, the council people or the individuals during that time did do the best they could do. But actually right now we're dealing with a new cre creature. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with new new issues and we got to bring those things up to date. Okay, let's move forward. Let's take another call. We have uh, Brian on the line. Brian, thank you for being with us tonight. Yeah, I'm sure the council knows that uh, Meharry Medical School, not medical college, Meharry Medical School, mm, yes. about a 24% uh, graduation rate uh, in passing their boards after four years. And then after another two years, less than half of those complete their residency. So after six years, you only got about 12% of the Meharry Medical School people actually becoming doctors. A lot of them become something that's called a physician or physician's assistant. And I didn't disagree with the gentleman over here because there are no Vanderbilt doctors working in Mary. I can guarantee you that right now. That's just not, that's not true. So I don't know, the, the hospital's been run down for a long time and it's been due to close for a long time. But you know, it's unfortunate, what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, that is the question. We have to do something. It's yeah. not like, oh, what do we do? We'll just close the doors and everybody will find health care. Yeah, so we, we, have, we, have, we to have to do something. We have to do something. Our hospital, and I, I disagree with the caller, our hospital was not run down. Our hospital was in really good shape. Uh, matter of fact, I encourage the, the, the caller to go over and visit uh, and to see the atmosphere and what's going on there. We have really good, good uh, uh, nurses. We have really good doctors. We have some uh, really good in, individuals individuals that are in there. Uh, I think a lot of people actually actually judge from the outside instead of going to visit the services because the doctors that are there, they practice at other hospitals as well. There are Vanderbilt doctors that come over to work with us. There are other, uh, other physicians, but we need to open that up to where the contract, where it's set up right now, we can only use everybody that festers through the Meharry Medical College system. Now, we need to do a better job. We need to revisit those contracts. We need to see what we can do, and we need to do a better job by increasing patient flow and taking care of the constituents here in the city. And again, you know, our, our, our health care and our system, and, and I, I will stand on that, is not run down. It's a beautiful place. I feel very, very comf comfortable with that. I'll stand behind that every day, and I know that we can do better than what we're doing today. Is the hospital coming up short in doctors because of Meharry? Uh, well, there is a there is a system that they have that uh, from the merger, and I do, do not have all the the agreements and mm -hmm. everything that was done beforehand. But I, I can tell you that they can't go outside of a certain scope. Uh, to they can't go out and just get a private private uh, mm -hmm. physician to coming in because there's a lot of lot of physicians that are coming into the city that would love to work with with the hospital but because of the the red tape and a lot of things that are going on they can't do it just like that it's it's a little more more checks and balances yeah. involved in that okay let's jump to William here hi William thanks for hanging on the line what's your question or comment uh, my question is why do emergency vehicles that come from from the west, from the east, pass by Meharry General and head over into Midtown? For example, my ex-wife was lying on 27th and Clarksville Highway, and they they sent her over to Midtown Hospital and stopped instead of stopping at. Meharry Hospital, which was no more than eight or ten blocks away, and of course she passed in the, their emergency room. Whereas maybe if they had stopped at Meharry General Hospital, maybe she wouldn't have passed. Mm. Okay, well, that's my question. Thank you, yeah, William. Thank you. Do, do you have an answer for that? What, yes. what is the system? Yes. Uh, one of the things is that a lot of people don't know, which I I thought the same way uh, at a period of time until the the, the knowledge was put on me. Uh, it it they actually call in from the uh, from the 
ambulance system to see uh, the availability uh -huh. of the hospital. And at that time, the hospital, uh, Metro General, could have had uh, some gunshots or either emergencies or other people. House. Yeah, it was a full house. And what they do is they channel off mm -hmm. to the nearest hospitals. Does it always, where do they start? Is it, you know, proximity or is it we're going to start with uh, National General and then move on to another? How does Pro it work? Proximity is usually the first, okay. first idea, uh, but there are some pa patients that prefer uh, they could be, they could be in East Nashville and they want to go to Metro General Hospital. Yeah. That if they prefer that, they can go there. Right, because you are usually asked if you are yes. able to talk in the back yes. of the ambulance, where do you want to yes. go? Yes, and if it's an emergency situation mm -hmm. they take you to the closest need and need place mm -hmm. for the for you to go I, yeah, yeah the gentleman just called I felt the same way I was like man why are they passing up the hospital because yeah. the hospital's right there and can't go there but uh, actually I I was taught uh, by the the emergency room s system mm -hmm. which was at the Metro General Hospital a lot of times they can't take any more because of the in use that they have at their hospital during that time and not uh, that's not only there but uh, St. Thomas, you know, yeah. they, they cut off, or Vanderbilt, they cut off and, and go somewhere else. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it makes sense once you think yeah. about it. It certainly yeah. does. Yeah. We have to take another quick break. We have callers on the line. I love that. When we come back, we're getting right back to the line. Stay with us. Hmm.